be talking to you about the music app Mixtickle. Mixtickle is an application that has its roots in generative music, which basically means instead of direct keyboard input, you use MIDI loops and audio loops to build up an audio landscape. Today I'm going to cover using Mixtickle's MIDI loops, its effects, and synthesizers to build up a song. Let's begin by having Mixtickle generate a random set of loops. In the Mixtickle sequencer, you can see there's 12 tracks each containing four cells. The tracks are going to play from left to right. Over on the left side we have the volume and balance adjustment. We can solo individual tracks or mute individual tracks. We have an equalizer with built-in presets where you can adjust individual bands have global effects that we can apply to the entire tracks or we can apply to individual cells. The column with the orange arrows indicates how the track should play, either in the sequence or a one hit or a loop. We can clear them all from the track's options. So let's populate a cell with some loops. Come in here and select from our library. You can see all our folders here. Uh, Mexico has a great library of loops, and for like 99 cents, you can download like eight more sets of uh, tracks. So from here, we can come in here and preview these loops and click on a loop when we're happy. We can change some of the rules here. I'm going to set this to be an octave higher. And I'm going to tell it to harmonize with other uh, cells playing. I can solo it just to hear that track individually. And if I'm happy with it, I can keep it as it is. Two ways to make a cell repeat. You can hold it down until the orange bar shows up. You can see the tempo here. I'm going to set it to 70. Okay. So it's going to repeat infinitely. Now if I want to set it to repeat for a certain number of uh, times, I can change the numbers here and cell repeat. And let me take that off of repeat and trigger this cell. Alright, so now it's going to play based on the parameters we set before. So I have 4 times 2. And if it's a MIDI loop, I could set parameters here for bar repeats. Now let's do a deep edit on a cell. We'll tap the cell and then go to the rules. I can change it to, I'm going to be an octave lower here and set the scale to major. And I can adjust the frequency that a particular note plays down here at the bottom. Alright, happy with that. I can come in here and change the sounds. This is the polyphony table. I can come in here and adjust which sound is playing out of the MIDI module. So I'm going to change it to clap and net. I'm going to make it a little bit more funky with a filter. Add that in like that. And I can go in there and adjust the filter parameters there. Set the cutoff to low. I'm going to adjust cutoff manually there. And I'm going to set the uh, dry a little bit higher to get that original signal through. And I'm going to add a little randomization here as well. Add a random module. And then I'm going to connect that filter to the random module down here by clicking plus. And I'm going to set the parameter to uh, randomize the cutoff. Okay, I'm going to add some special effects to that cell. Add a little distortion. And I'm going to add a little equalization here. And change the parameters. I can adjust the individual bands or choose a preset. Like that. So definitely a lot more funky than Piano Patch that was originally there. Well, that's all for now, but I'll be back soon with part two of our Mixtickle tutorials. We'll get into audio loops and sequencing.
Be sure to check out my blog and tell your friends. Until next time, take care.